Hello, you beautiful people of the internet. The 4.3 special program is here. This art looks phenomenal. Miss America with Ayaka. I am so excited for for uh, the special program and to react to it and to get an official Chun Yun Shinha interaction in game, surely. So here we go without further ado. Hey, okay, everyone. I assume that you know why we're here, right? I've checked the perimeter. The coast is all clear. All right. Dude, her design looks time. sick. Time to shop for the latest fashions at Chioria Boutique. Woo! Huh. Uh, don't you think something sounds a little off about that line? Yeah, this is Chioria Boutique that we're talking about. I feel like we need something that sounds, I, I don't know, a little more extravagant, They're so cute. Maybe? Uh, we'll have yeah. to talk about it later. The lights have been turned on and the audience is already here. The program is starting. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.3 special program. Dude, Yay! the Musketeers design looks so good. <laughs> As you can see, our show is sponsored by Chioria Boutique, one of the leading fashion houses in Fontaine. But before we go any further, let's take oh, a moment ho, ho. to watch the version 4.3 trailer. Camera Here we go, boys! That can be a pretty technical job are you really up to it oh, okay all right it's like a little movie it's like a little vlog Wait, you put no thought into finding a good camera angle and the characters weren't in the shots Ahem. positions everyone <laughs> there she is i am navia the president leader commander it's mary poppins y'all director and boss of spina di rosula Oh my gosh. Yeah. She fights with the umbrella. All the music is so good. What? What is that? Is her all cannon fire? All right. Cameras will start rolling as soon as the oh, set is Farina ready. Oh, Farina directing. Farina's really kicking things into gear as the director. Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can That's get their adorable. makeup done. Extras, go over your position. Yes, sir. Camera ready. Get the clock Who's aboard. This? Actors, do your position. Lights, camera, action. Yeah, we're making Look, a movie. Enough, villain. Pay for the death of our mother. <laughs> You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Your crimes are evident. Here she is. It's Miss It's Miss America chat. Let's see the gun. Gun shit it back, boys. Dude, the OST is baller. Her Not design that. looks the so clean. The actors' emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. We'll move on to the next scene. Uh, oh, Yumiya. Yumi. Did you really think you'd get away? Chevres. You can keep your Mora, and you the can pistol? go to hell. <gasps> Excellent. That was beyond. That was so serious. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves Yo, in Fontaine. <laughs> Yo, uh, Mia, not the kind of waves that drown people. I mean, the good kind of waves. <laughs> Too soon, Farina. Too soon. Oh, that was fun. I love chat. I love when we get those character moments of all our little characters having just like adorable moments together. Kind of like the Genshin TCG event with uh, Sino and Skara, Kave, Farazan, and even Layla. Um, no, no offense to Layla. I'm just kidding. Uh, but oh my goodness, the music, the bops, first of all, on Navia. And what's the second girl's name? I didn't catch it, actually. I actually missed it. I was too enamored by her amazing outfit and the freaking musket. It's Gunshin Impact time, boys! I really wish, though... I do really wish that Genshin added a new weapon type for Fontaine. Chev Rousse? Oh, I'm going, mis I'm going to mispronounce that a couple more times. I wish they added a new... It would have been a perfect opportunity to add a different uh, weapon Welcome type. Welcome back to the version 4.3 special program, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller-Cruz, voice back. of Lumine, and today I'm joined by... Hey, everybody. I'm Brenna Larson, the voice of Navia, president of the Spina di Rosula. And I'm Erica Lindbeck, the voice of Chevres. Yay! 
you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the first time we've had you two on the special program. So excited. It's so great. Mm -hmm. Chaz, the volume good? <laughs> okay, so actually, um, we have a tradition on the program where we all get to sing everyone a little song. Oh. Huh? What? <laughs> okay. okay, nice try. I've seen the special programs before. You don't oh. want to sing a song? You can sing a, like, a I love song singing. about Listen. Genshin. I know. Genshin Impact. No, okay. Uh, back to business. Back to business. <laughs> Yo, a little karaoke? Okay, like we mentioned before, this program is sponsored by the Chioria Boutique. Mm. So while we're sharing content from version 4.3, I also wanted to get some inspiration for shooting commercials for the boutique. Mm -hmm. We don't want to let our client down. Yeah. Oh. And, and speaking of new content, the we can't have a new version without introducing some new characters. Hashtag sponsored? As you already saw in the trailer, Navia and Shavros will be our new playable characters. Characters. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm sure many of our viewers are already familiar. Four point three sponsored by Gucci Chat. Fontaine's our conquest, but who is show for us? Mm, who indeed? Um, <laughs> <laughs> other Fontaine characters have already mentioned Chevrus before in their voice lines, but um, Chevrus will finally be making an official appearance in version four point three. I'm so excited! Mm -hmm. Dude, she looks so clean. Oh, by the way, what do you think of letting one of our characters from the new version take the lead role in our commercial? Oh, well, I mean, mm. if we're shooting a video for Chioria Boutique, then I think Navia would be an obvious choice. Okay, we're gonna become After Twitch all, streamers. Navia's clothing was designed by Chiori herself. Uh, Wait, Erica, that was actually a really natural sounding product placement for Chioria Boutique? <laughs> your art, you're amazing at this! <laughs> I know, I know it sounds like product placement, but Chiori really was the designer who created Navia's outfit. <laughs> um, next, Is Shori Boutique a, a real thing? Two? Show. Or is it just Fontaine? Well, her character showcase. Ooh. I always say that blind optimism isn't the answer. Oh my gosh, I love Navia so much. Right future, you have to go out and seize it with your own two hands. Dude, it's Mary Poppins, man. Is that Taylor Swift? Wait, her umbrella's a cut? Wait a, wait a minute. And her all is cannon fire. I'm sorry, can we take a moment to appreciate how perfectly Chiori customized Navia's clothes and accessories to reflect her personality? She clearly pays a lot of attention to the small details. A lot of <laughs> homage to Poisson in her <laughs> outfit, chat. It's really great. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> um, while we're on this topic though, Navia's parasol seems pretty interesting. On the outside, it looks like a delicate accessory used to block out the sun, but on the inside, there's actually a secret firearm that can be used to ward off enemies. Gunshin impact, it's, it's time. Elegant and fierce all at once. Just like Navia herself. <laughs> exactly. Even when it comes to her enemies, Navia is not the type to eschew basic etiquette. So is she prefers to maintain a, a battle axe while in combat. While using her elemental skill, Navia opens her gunbrella and fires multiple Rosula shard shots that can pass through opponents, dealing geo damage upon a successful strike. Ooh. For Dude. a period of time after using her elemental we skill, guns. Navia's normal, charged, and plunging attacks will deal increased damage and become infused with the power of geo, infused which cannot be overridden. With now, geo. When Navia's in combat, there are these little markings around her. Chat, what's geo? Bullets. I wonder if that's some sort of ammo for the gunbrella. Oh yeah, yes, you guessed it. You when a store up in the party ammo? obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia will gain crystal shrapnel charges. Navia will consume Wait, these sick. charges after unleashing her elemental skill. Her skill damage increases with the number of charges that she's Mono Geo teams oh, incoming? Okay, okay, okay. So you're saying that Navia's elemental skills She literally uses a shotgun and she feeds it crystal rocks party to trigger the crystallized reaction. Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, great. Her design. <laughs> Navia's elemental verse calls forth the Rosula Dorata Salute, which unleashes a massive bombardment on opponents in front of her, periodically dealing geo elemental damage. I should also mention Chat, I love that Navia will accumulate crystal shrapnel charges at certain Dude, intervals her all if she is strikes cannon enemies fire. with the Rosula Dorada Salute. Gameplay call. That salute is spectacular. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I heard that the Spina di Rosula likes to perform firearm salutes before important negotiations. I like that you know, she's like the, one of the most elegant success. and beautiful characters. It's not an intimidation and like well at all. Oh. And like dr well <laughs> okay. dressed. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's just and the Spina. Her attacks are a shotgun and cannonball. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> not intimidating at all. No. <laughs> As the president of the Spina di Rosula, Navia is always to trying it. to collect the latest intel by exploring all corners of Fontaine. When Navia is dispatched on a 20 hour Princess expedition Cannon. in Fontaine, rewards gained will be increased. Okay, so we just mentioned that Navia is the oh, president let's of go. Spina di Rosula. So I think we should bring up Spina's yes. contributions to averting Fontaine's prophesized crisis. Hmm. I mean, it was all thanks to Navia's leadership. Exactly. Some people even lost their lives during that disaster. Silver! I'm certain that those events Loose. weighed heavily on Navia, but she remained tough and committed to leading the Spina. Yeah. Yeah, and while we're on the topic of Fontaine's crisis, though the prophesized dangers are over, the town is probably still busy rebuilding everything, right? Mm -hmm. I bet Navia's gonna be occupied with Resurrect that for a long time. Resurrect them now, time. based. Oh, definitely. That's something that travelers will be able to see for themselves. Not with the Navia's sad story music. Quest, the Rosa Multiflora make me cry. will become available in version 4.3. The Spina will be working diligently to rebuild Yo, DJ, the song. Yo, DJ, switch the songs, so please. Though repairing the houses will be straightforward, the emotional distress may be much more difficult to address. If you're curious about how Navia and her crew are going to proceed, I am then curious. be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah me I'm too. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> okay, so now that we've introduced who's, Navia... Who's got it sadder, chat? Navia for or Farina? <laughs> Okay, I know that since Dude, she's her new design color, you probably is so good to learn more about her. So let's get right into it. Wait, okay. is that um, Pom Pom hmm. from Honkai Star Rail? should I introduce her? Uh, first off, Chevres is the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. It's a Fontanian organization that handles it's all sorts it's of not difficult pom -pom. cases and dangerous It's Pom Mom, Ooh. chat. <laughs> She doesn't Sorry. like to appear in public Sorry. without good cause, mm -hmm. so if you happen to run into her, it's likely that you're in some sort of trouble. But, oh. but as long as you're a law-abiding citizen, there's no need to worry. <laughs> a is actually really easy to get along with outside of work. Oh, Feastos are just the best snack. They're easy to carry with you and go with so many sauces. <laughs> I love the way she said that. Based? Oh my gosh. Chat, could you imagine if that musket was just her weapon? Hands where I can see it looks so sick. No, no fence to the spear. Uh, I get it. What? I understand. That was so fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I am not just talking about her skills. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at her idol animation. I love that she loves snacks. Mm -hmm. Dude, she loves that french fries, so man. Awesome. She loves, girl, she loves french fries, <laughs> uses it. guns. Oh <laughs> this She's is Miss exactly America. <laughs> captain of the special patrol though, right? I guess that's kind of true. I mean, Chevres' work as a captain can be really stressful. I mean, I can't blame the girl for indulging every once in a her while. Her hat looks like an artifact. Stress. She even adjusts her training regimen to make up for her snacking habits. In fact, she trains more than any other member of the special patrol. Her platoon really admires her for that. Wow, okay, she's got some willpower. That is awesome. She's really admirable. The special patrol she doesn't train as much as Chun Yun. above all else. So the organization often attracts some eccentric personalities. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the special patrol used to have problems with insubordination, but ever since Chevres took control, everyone has fallen into line, which does not surprise me at all. <laughs> she commands respect among her peers, and she's a formidable fighter, and she leads by example. Is she related to Though Kaya? She demands excellence from her platoon. She holds herself to even higher Just for standards. reasons. She always tries to be an does example she have, does she have headphones? to follow, whether it's investigating cases or in marksmanship practice. And it looks like a lot of her skills involve using a musket. She must Are the headphones to protect her ears sure. from her musket? Chevrolet or is she a gamer are girl? Basically partners in crime. They're inseparable. She definitely oh my gosh, her hair firearm. is so uses sick. her musket to fire at opponents during her elemental skill. Ooh. For a period of time after unleashing her elemental skill, Chevres will continuously restore HP to the active character on the field. During her elemental burst, Chevres fires an explosive grenade with her musket, which will split into secondary explosives. That's shells not how muskets impact. work. Uh -huh. Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Oh, she charges a bullet too. Bullet-like markings around her during combat. 
Can she shoot a special type Wait, of they're ammo? Kind of, That's right. They're kind of putting Severus ammo into Genshin. Wait a minute. A nearby party member Two characters have it now. Action. Hold up. Holding Shavros's elemental skill will consume this special ammo to unleash an even I think this is how they're putting guns in Genshin. Covers a larger AoE. This attack will also grant an attack buff to Hold all up. Pyro I think it actually is. characters in the party. Mm. Okay, so that's where the name Overcharged Ball comes from. Uh huh. Genshin Shavers FPS actually win. Actually, came up with the name herself. Oh. Right now, man. A novel where the protagonist You're watching that it. Names held a lot of power. If you Welcome to a cool Call of Duty. Name, then you've given yourself an advantage over I'm your in, enemies. I'm in Fortnite. That kind of logic resonated with her, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess she has a point. Oh. I should Playing also with mention based. what happens if Shavros is paired with all Pyro Beto and Electro based. characters. If your party contains at least one character of either type, then triggering the overloaded reaction will cause an opponent's Pyro and Electro resistances to decrease. Okay, so Interesting. Like Shavros could really shine in an overload team comp. But I also did notice that Shavros isn't solely limited to a musket. Mm -hmm. She also uses a pole arm in combat. <laughs> okay, honestly, if I were a criminal... <laughs> I feel like I'd be pretty nervous if she came after me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Most people who have something to hide avoid her. I would like be her nervous too, because I'd be asking her <laughs> to go out <laughs> for dinner. Though, that's why you like French fries. So I like French fries. A wide variety of you are a beautiful, hardworking lady. I am. So when Shavras is in your party, not that. I'm, <laughs> is decreased. I'm done. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I love that. <laughs> These two new characters are great. Both of them would be great leads in our commercial. I don't know. It's so hard to choose. <laughs> I know. Dude, that art is and so nice. Don't be simping. Oh, no, no. I've never simped a day in my life. What event wishes that travelers can look forward to in version 4.3? The candidate pool for the lead role of our commercial is about to get even bigger. Oh, oh my no. gosh. <laughs> oh. In the first half of version 4.3, travelers can look Ayaya. forward to event wishes Ayaya. for Navia Ayaka. and Ayaka. A new five star claymore verdict. Oh my gosh, that looks featured in the weapon event wish. Wait, Chunyu can use a battle axe. Wait a minute. We'll have Wait a minute. Go back. Event wishes from what, what? the Raiden Shogun and Yoimiya. Oh, During this time, Shogun Shavrus and Yoimiya. will also receive a huge drop rate Yoimiya. boost. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. That's oh, awesome. Is Travelers can also look on the second to banners. New artifact sets in version 4.3. My wallet is not ready. Songs of days past and nighttime whispers in the echoing woods. Oh, Be sure those to look. Keep an look at the design of those chat. Learn more about them. This seems like the perfect time for our first break. Wait, what We've is, shared a ton of information so far, and do? I bet travelers could use some time to digest it all. You're right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> sure. Definitely. Let's take a break while we take a look at the second group of redemption codes. The version 4.3 special program is brought to you by Chioria Boutique and will return shortly. They keep saying Chioria. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it starts to feel like it's act, an actual sponsorship. You know what I mean, Chant? That is so cool. I think that's a very interesting and cool sign that they will add more guns to Genshin chat. The fact they added that bullet UI, like basically the ammunition UI on the side of the character and they made it consistent between both of them. I feel like that means they've set the tone to add more in the future, which is pretty cool. Love to see the weapon diversity. Maybe get some uh, Fatui muskets or like Gatling guns. Fatui weapons added would be so stinking sick. Um, Navia's playstyle looks like it's going to be so fun. Is she the savior of Geo chat? Is our mono Geo teams going to be a theme? If she makes like mono Geo teams an actual viable theme, that'd be so cool. Welcome honestly. back, everyone. So we thoroughly discussed our cast Event time? for the Chioria Boutique commercial, but... The content of the commercial is also important, right? Do you have any ideas? Is that duct tape? Hmm. If we're making a commercial for Chiorio Boutique, we get duct tape. How about we include some events? Do we get some WD forty too? Oh, yay! Chiori is actually going to appear in the event for version four point three. What? Hmm. Mm. While the travelers Pause will be able to see her store in the court of Fontaine, we'll finally get to meet her in person. Oh, she's the owner and of yes, the store. I know. Travelers can also look forward to meeting Ayaka and Ayato in Fontaine. She already suggested that they should stop by, so. Oh God! Not yeah, another Claymore! Cool. Shut your mouth! Hey, this is actually the perfect. I'll take time every for gosh darn Claymore I can get. On Ina's but born fashion icon, for my Chun Yun. Chioria Boutique is your one-stop shop for the latest and most influential fashion in Fontaine. Give me a ball. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that is I'll right. gobble them up. Chiori <laughs> is acquainted with the Kamisato siblings because she's also from Inazuma. She actually introduced Ayaka and Ayato to Xavier and recommended that they make the trip Ooh. to Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. The Kamisato so siblings. Will you tell us more about the Fontanalia Festival? Go on Film vacation? Festival? Oh. The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights. According to the myths, they went on a quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Archon Egeria to Fontaine. Mm -hmm. oh. It's one of the most important festivals in Fontaine. Like with the Fontaine Festival? festival this is, this is going to be the official... Ah, so this exciting. is the official festival. <laughs> a film the festival. Film Association that's proposed the Fontanalia Film Festival earlier this year. That's and super fitting because film festivals are actually a theme, and that fits the theme of Fontaine Entry so with well. The highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. Well, we can see Farina working with Ayaka and the others here. Unless they did like a debate so club. Wait, does this mean that there's a chance that Farina debate might win festival. the Farina Award? <laughs> okay, Lawyer festival. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to leave you in suspense. If travelers are curious about what Ayaka and the others are doing Who's in Fontaine getting the Oscar or chat? how Farina fared, you'll just have to play the event when the new version becomes available. Hmm. So we know that several friends from Inazuma will be in Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival, but travelers have so much more to be excited about. Travelers will also have the opportunity to participate in a variety of activity booths during the festival. Party? Each one will have a different theme. Ooh. <laughs> ah, so Mini games? Cool. The first activity booth is the Thousand Case it. Interdiction Arc Minute Sharpshooting Zone. In this activity, travelers will use the special security and surveillance patrol simulation device to practice targeting what? and shooting opponents. Yep. Ooh, is this sniper elite? No way! That's crazy! Is called that Rickshot man was just sniping! Lights. In this activity, Get travelers sniper. will use studio special lighting effects to film a fight scene. Dude, that was like an actual like sniper UI. To defeat an endless stream of opponents and obtain a higher score. So cool. Those special lighting effects are really giving off old. Bro, we for real getting guns. I think we are. It's all so atmospheric. Assassin. For sure. Gunshot impact is real, chat. Everyone is enjoying the fun and games. Travelers will meet a contract employee at the third activity booth. Hold up. She needs some help with her demanding client. During the activity Extreme Drive, travelers will help her test out stabilization mecha balls. Look at how the traveler chases after oh, the stabilization mecha balls. Okay, I bet the Chat Copa events are so She's supreme. Down by that client. <laughs> totally. I said this once, and I'll say it a million times. Ordinary, but if Genshin collected all of the four people co op games they've ever made, the opposite direction of your movement. and made like a game mode where you play a random rounds. five of them How and the person with the most points wins, oh my gosh, I would play that all the time with chat. I'd probably play that every stream. Travelers in co-op matches will have to find It's like one of the game modes in uh, Super Mario Party target area is where it's just the mini games. The the kind of like Mario Party, yeah, area, without the board. The more points you'll earn. The fourth activity booth is called Into the Frame. They they made like in this activity, what? Travelers will get to shoot their own scenes by experimenting with different camera positions and narration techniques. Co-op mini games? Cool. We get to make a and movie. it would add That's such awesome. a cool constant Travelers depth to multiplayer. Xavier with some filmmaking back in Inazuma, but this seems more professional. Wait, maybe this can be the inspiration for our commercial. Oh, oh chat! As I am an actor, I, I would be very good at this, film. you know. I, guess <laughs> I would use my acting skills to must have also been do the cinematography and the directing. boutique in Fontaine. Ooh, that could be a strong theme for our commercial. Actually, uh -huh. Ayaka and Ayato aren't the only Inazumans traveling abroad in version 4.3. I don't know why my acting persona Kuki is Shinobu French. Just arrived in Liyue for her class let's, reunion. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's move on. And Ito decided to tag along as the boss of the Arataki gang. Yes, and let's go. Ito mentioned. Kabuto with him. Let's go, baby. This is the moment I was waiting for. This is why I'm talking about. The boy wow. is back. The <laughs> serotonin-inducing <laughs> lad. Blazing armor the one and only. Camp. That name is definitely Where he goes, we though. follow. <laughs> right, for sure. And there was also a Beetle Battle event in version 3.4, right? Beetle battles against a super powerful Happy Beetle Battler. Happy birthday to you. His name was ow, ow, ow. Grandmaster Hanakado. Mm. Yep. Grandmaster Hanakado made an impressive showing during the last Beetle Battle event. This time, he's made the trip to Liyue with Ito. 
It seems like the two of them have met a mysterious new beetle battle master. Ooh. What? Who is it? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I can't give that away. Travelers will have to discover their identity during the event. Ah. Aside from meeting this mysterious new oh, I remember battle this. master, travelers can also look forward to new ways to battle. While the movement and charge mechanics remain unchanged, this from is a the pretty fun event, one. Travelers can now also instruct Onikabuto to use guard to defend against electro bullet and jet stream attacks. Chat, I was the best Make beetle battler this side of the Tallahassee. Just let you guys know. Your opponents, no in case you didn't know. Throw at you. Master them. One v one me. Ready to tackle the Cued ultimate up. trial of the strong. Ooh. <laughs> trial of the strong. My beetle versus your Travelers beetle. Travelers can look forward to encountering an old friend in the Fontanian countryside. That's right, Ullman came to Fontaine and he brought his treasure oh, map and treasure again. seeking Seely along with him. Let's go! Yay! <laughs> Our mini Seely friend is back. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Travelers I get to choose another color besides my green one. By absorbing energy from the locations that are marked on I like my green one, map. though. In return, the Seely will guide us to the locations of buried treasure. Are we going to get a new After region, chat, do you think? Iron it doesn't seem like it. This event, you can exchange them for various rewards, including a mini Seely in your preferred color. Ooh. I'm guessing no. Okay, so in the event preview, it looked like some of the treasures What's the difference between the top one and the second one? When I first arrived oh. in Fontaine, I discovered that Seely could underwater. follow the underwater. Is this treasure-seeking Seely different? Uh, that is very observant of you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> in this iteration of the Lost Riches event, a new mini Seely named Brilliance will be available. This new mm. mini Seely can travel yeah, little... underwater. It's cute. Amazing. Yeah. Treasure cute. isn't the only thing that you'll discover in Fontaine's countryside. Wait, that art goes so hard. You might also a mysterious domain guarded by a unique swordmaster who searches for the meaning of battle. During the Dance of Resolute Will, travelers will get the chance to participate in Wait, combat challenges. Wait, that art goes so Each hard. Each challenge stage will contain two rounds. Travelers must select their party compositions. Solo the Navi- Dang, no. One of your chosen characters must be used in both rounds, but no other character can be repeated. Oh, okay. Mm hmm after you complete a blade dance objective during Dude, the, the challenge, bullets are actually so cool. Verve buff. Defeating opponents while heightened verve is active will grant you more. Can you do all oh, you and double load? Another old friend is returning in version <laughs> 4.3. That's right. It's Lieben. Lieben. Lieben? Lieben? Is it Lieben? And if Lieben is around. I thought it was Lieben. That must mean we'll have a chance to trade a bunch of items for primo gems oh. again. Ooh. The, the <laughs> swag master supreme. Okay, so it looks like Lieben isn't the only Riz old Lord Lieben himself is back, boys. Several familiar faces will be joining the Genius Invocation TCG. Ranked. After this update, Ranked travelers TCG? will have the opportunity to challenge characters around Fontaine. Ooh. A new Fontaine-themed Signora card will also be available. Ah, we love we will, we I'm love so Lieben. to see players challenge the melazines. I know. We're gonna so fight exciting. the melazines. Travelers can look forward to the addition of several new cards, including six new character cards, plus five new Senora monster cards, card? such as Dvalin, Signora, and Ejdaha, will be obtainable from the corresponding tower. Release challenges. ranked, please. But that's not all. The Forge Realms Temper event will also be making a reappearance, and there will be an update to Why the Why does Senora download. have 30 HP? Be on the lookout for future announcements. That's There's not lore TCG accurate. Content to look forward to she should have negative well. HP. The Genius Invocation TCG Asia Invitational will officially begin in January 2024. What? Mm -hmm. Travelers can look forward okay. to a friendly competition between 16 of the top TCG players oh, that's all cool. across Asia. Let's go. I heard they're some of the best Pr promoting in Promoting the, the competitive so cool. league. Be sure to follow That's the Poggers. Astro Carnival X or Twitter account to stay up to date on the latest news about this epic showdown. Genshin to make oh TCG gosh, pop this off. Is also exciting. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the formula in a well, second, chat. Hang on to Because we're about to get another Primo code. We're I can a feel short it. Break to look at the next I knew group it. Of redemption codes. My Primo we'll gym. to sharing more exciting information about chakras. were tingling, baby. Just a moment. Yay! Can you stop playing the song? It's gonna make me cry, man. Oh, that's sick art. Uh. For Genshin to get TCG to pop off, low key, Genshin TCG's gameplay is, in my opinion, phenomenal. It's so stinking good. Um, to get to pop off, they need to make it playable, like as a separate download, or like through browser. Because right now you have to get to like level twenty. You have to you have to play until you're like level twenty to even try the Genshin TCG. 
which if you just are interested in only card games is crazy. Um, and then they have to add Primo Gym rewards to it as well as ranked. Uh, I think Primo Gyms will get a lot of people back into TCG and you combine it with to get a bunch of the normies and to really maximize its hype. If you can play it through browser, oh, that'd be so sick. It's just such a good game. It's developed so well. I really wish that it got the spotlight it deserves. Back, you know travelers. what I'm saying? We've introduced a lot of content and we've gotten a ton of inspiration for our commercial. Honestly, our promotion is definitely shaping up. Totally. But Roses and muskets. Yeah, let's dive into the system optimizations Ooh. that the project team has prepared for version oh, 4.3. Okay. First, we have some artifact-related optimizations to introduce. With an ever-increasing amount saw this of artifacts in the dev update. to choose from, many travelers may have been hoping for a better and These quicker are way to filter and locate desired artifacts. After the version 4.3 update, travelers can check out artifact set recommendations for a huge to see what artifact sets active players have been choosing for that character recently. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh addition, my gosh, that is so good for casual added. players. Now, when filtering artifacts in your inventory, you can lock the artifacts that fit your filter that is specifications so good. in batches. With the automatic locking function, newly acquired artifacts that fit your locking criteria will automatically be locked when added to your inventory. Oh, that's awesome. Interesting. I'm not sure if I'd ever use that. Set auto lock plans for each artifact set. It's much Travelers easier to just check them immediately. The recommended settings summarized for active player data. Since it may take some time to collect the necessary auto locking, new artifact sets will not oh. your recommended locking settings immediately. Wait, okay. does that mean you can yes. delete? Of course, if you can lock artifacts in batches, you can unlock them in batches as well. Travelers can look Hold forward that, to both on the other hand. in the new update. That's not all. Unlocking. Though. I have Travelers so many locked will be artifacts. Able to sort artifacts by three different attributes. Plus, to group the them and unlock all of them at the same time if they're poo poo. That's useful. At once. Hmm. An enhancement limit feature will also be available. Hopefully, these optimizations will not only make artifacts easier to find, but oh, also quicker to level. That's nice. Be on the lookout for future announcements to learn more. The project team is always working hard to address your survey feedback. So travelers should look forward Auto -lock to lets you use your bad stats as fodder. True. Improvements to equipping artifacts and other artifact related optimizations are all in the works. Ooh. In addition, the project team has made adjustments to provide smoother ascension and enhancement experiences for travelers. When you level up a character, enhance an artifact or enhance a weapon, you no longer have to click so many pop up windows. Oh, that's awesome. As a new mm -hmm. player using a few one yeah, that's, two star that's nice. to level artifacts. Good little adjustments or poggers. A bit slow, especially with pop -up Watch them here. chat. Totally. Their next this announcement is going to be after the optimizations. It's like also we added in-game content. So we added raids to Genshin. Could you imagine? That would be <laughs> has made it easier to repeat or like get you an anime previously travelers who tried to continue domain challenges would be sent to the entrance of the domain mm. this that this is so nice all the way to the center to start the challenge but after this update, please tell me who choose to continue in a domain challenge will load right next to the that's, area where you that's so nice start fighting which is but amazing please tell me <laughs> so happy farming it everyone. resets your Ooh. abilities in the abyss as well players to farm artifacts for Nog. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true, true. I guess that's a little different. In you don't really have to worry about that in domains. Has made it easier to clear your quest backlog. Archon Quest Chapter Two, Act Four: In the Depths and Unexpected Reunion. R.I.P. These guys. In the underground mines of the chasm. In the past, travelers had to complete the world quests, chasm spelunkers, and the heavenly stones debris before being able to proceed to the Archon Quest. Chat, there's so many update, world quests in Genshin now. No oh my lordy. To complete those two world quests. Mm. Instead, travelers can speak directly to the miner who issued the commission to unlock a teleport waypoint. Oh. It will take them to the corresponding area and automatically trigger the next steps of the Archon Quest. Oh. I wish there was yeah. some way. This will hopefully make it easier for travelers to quickly progress through Archon Quests. Even so if it was cool. a third-party so add-on. significantly easier for new or lapsed players to access the Archon That allowed voiceovers sweet, sweet for world quests. <laughs> like if it was a community funded add-on also one click expeditions will be available starting in version 4.3 that'd be pretty poggers to claim expedition rewards and repeat expeditions with not like actually click. mod the game travelers but will also be able to claim processed ingredients and forged items with a single click 
Oh, sweet. Oh. That's going to make it easier to collect rewards from Catherine. Nice Definitely. weekly There's help. Lord knows I need it. Of life improvements in this update. For example, optimizations have been made to enemy tracking with the adventure handbook. I was literally and character selection logic during crafting and just forging. talking about this. In addition, when performing mystic offerings, travelers will now be able to add artifacts in batches. There's a lot to look forward to. So be Am sure I dumb? To What's a mystic offering? For more information. Okay, moving on from optimizations, a new Fontaine-style realm layout will be added to the Serena teapot. Simply purchase the corresponding items from Tubby to unlock it. Oh, oh my gosh! It looks like an aquarium. How is this just it's a side a announcement? This looks amazing! Travelers can use ocean currents you can swear. between the islands in this layout. Some islands even have ponds that travel. How is this a side note? This is like the hugest part of the update. Underwater kingdom. It's just so. Oh pretty. my gosh, teapot gamers are and be eating even good. Once travelers have the chance to make them their own, I'm so excited to see what everyone's gonna come up with. Mm. Especially my friends' teapots. <laughs> oh my gosh. Designs, don't you? <laughs> That's gorgeous, and it's all under the sea. I knew it. I have another piece of super exciting news to share with everyone. Ooh. Okay, I know, right? The annual Genshin Impact online concert, Melodies of an Endless oh, Journey, poggers? is coming soon. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I heard this year's concert is going to celebrate Genshin's classic melodies in an entirely new way. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the amazing moments that this concert has in store. Is this from the previous... Is this the concert they're currently doing? Online? Yo, this is my starting screen, man. The Degen screen. Let's go, boys. I feel seen. I feel heard. Dude, this set. This is very pretty. Man. Chat, there's a little slime cloud. I wonder if it's going to be the same stuff that was in the Genshin concert. Oh, the art. Oh, that's so pretty. It feels nostalgic. It really does feel nostalgic, chat. Genshin anime time. The 2023 Genshin concert held in Shanghai last September will also be online soon. So and stay tuned, uh, travelers. Me. Whoa. So we have two and online concerts uh, to look forward me. to. Yep. Uh, Further I'm, details I'm will coping. be announced across Genshin Impact's official social media accounts. So be on the lookout for more information. At the end of version I don't think it'll be the same. We'll watch it. Hoyo Mix keeps us fed. 100% agree. Genshin Impact character OST album. As much Moments love as Genshin's music gets, I honestly think it's underrated. Created by the Hoyo Mix like, team. Like, just... Wait. We're culturally getting I'll hate them and wanders OST. Hoyoverse yeah. has some of the <laughs> best in-game soundtracks too. of any game. Like legit. It goes toe to toe. A ton of love. Oh, that's awesome. I love the art. Yo, I was jamming, man. Kitchen Impact's fourth character album. The stellar moments. Okay, well, that's all the new information we have to share about the updates. So, I guess that means it's time for the version 4.3 special program to come to a close. But wait, there's more. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> but we haven't even come up with a plan for our Chiorio Boutique commercial. Actually, we've already finished shooting it. You're right. What? The special program was a pretty good commercial. Hopium. I'm certainly not going to forget the it's name okay Chiorio Boutique It's okay if there isn't. It's okay if there isn't. I'm pretty sure that's all. <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh, we really did cover a lot of important information today. For sure. The most important part is our final word from our sponsor, Chioria Boutique. It, it really <laughs> does. It really <laughs> does sound sponsored. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm so excited to be a part of Genshin Impact, and I cannot wait. Her for voice in game movies. chat sounds and personality uh, yeah. sounds really good. I'm optimistic I know. about it. Exactly the same. Can't wait to see more Navia and her fighting action. I love Navia so much. <laughs> and also, can't wait for little swimming sealies. Yes, they are so cute. So oh cute. <laughs> and I think the new mini games are really fun, especially the one where we get to make like a little movie. Okay, so yes. this this patch is a little bit. Well, 
I am just so glad. Less, a tiny bit less content than uh, normal, so which is totally fun. fine. I think that's how it goes typically. Chat with with the uh, versions after our conquest. I hope that everyone's looking forward to experiencing all this exciting new content for themselves. Be sure to check it out when the update goes live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Bye. Guys. See bye. You later. bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Jean Lee's in the in uh, Jean Lee Museum. What is this? Why does Jean Lee look so amazing? What am I looking at? What is this? Is this a skin? Is this a is this a uh, uh, bring him back? Bring him back! All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the 4.3 special program. My final thoughts, honestly, it's it's what I expected out of a post Archon Quest update. But that being said, I really love what I see with uh, the two new characters, Navia and Shavarus. I don't know how to say her name. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say that wrong so many times. I'm trying, though. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to learn it correctly. Their gameplay looks so fun with the guns and the little UI they added as well. And also, honestly, my favorite part of that chat is also, besides Navia, obviously, and getting the Navia story quest, which I'm super excited for because I freaking love Navia. But the the uh, Fontaine teapot looks so stinking good, chat. Um, but all in all, what was your if you were watching over on YouTube? What let me know what your favorite part is down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow on Twitch if you want to catch these live. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.